What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Yuri Tessic, and welcome to another episode of Tropical Six Sandbox Gameplay, where we have a lot of things to cover in this episode. First of all, look at these modern mansions right on the beach that I built. Look at this, man. Few things to cover that I did off camera. Um, built another office. This one is corporate business, and this one is consumer business. A uh, few things here and there. Not, again, not too much roller coaster. They wanted a roller coaster again. I'm not sure what the, why the militarists love roller coasters. There was an update to this game that just happened. Uh, once the update happened, I was playing off camera. I did realize that my trading is way more efficient, like as far as bringing stuff to the island. And last episode, I said we did the market manipulation and nothing really happened and I was wondering why it turns out that in the update uh, update files that they said or the update news they said that that was a bug that was preventing it so it's important to keep in mind we are in the season one of tropical six not everything is going to be like bug free there's still a lot of bugs I'm sure the fact that you only see teamsters trucks and construction trucks more like there's only one two three you can count how many cars civilian cars are on the road it's usually just trucks. I'm sure that's also a bug. But either way, like I said, it's important to keep that in mind. So this episode, as you can see, our, our economy is doing beautiful. What I also did, which was very, very important, was I went um, basically almost like block by block and checked for bunkhouses because a lot of them were just flat out empty because we decreased the wages on a lot of places and uh, people can afford better and people want better quality housing quality so and also a lot of restaurants even if you had the max which all of them literally all of them have the max even if you have that max uh service quality they're not getting filled up all the way so what's the point of having it and losing money on it like for example if you take a look at this bunkhouse it, overall it gave us forty six hundred dollars but in the last month it's twenty dollars below and i'm assuming if we speed it up to the next month it's again to, we're, we're spending money on it even though it's twenty dollars but it matters that's why i've been kind of keeping a lit on spending money because you know stuff like this i've been i've been just demolishing if it's not doing us anything for us i've been just demolishing so that's the kind of stuff that i did off camera i'm sure you guys will do just fine without seeing me do all that type of stuff of course the research stuff stuff like this like everything is almost researched stuff like this that's what when i say i played off camera that's what i mean i don't want you guys to think you missed too much you didn't miss too much uh, of course we built some mansions here which got filled up right away which i was surprised which leads me to think in tropical six it's all about the location of the place so even if there's like homeless people it's really all about the location but besides that we did change the pharmaceutical company i think we did the last episode instead of consuming oil they're consuming sugar but still every time it gets produced i'm not seeing it in my docks well i am now it's just because i'm trying to make a point i'm not seeing it in my docks i'm seeing it like go in my in my grocery stores like let me show you something over here like i built this grocery store and there's pharmaceuticals in it like i don't want to do it locally but i looked and i looked and i looked there isn't really any option so if you guys notice here there's a pharmaceutical there's a radio station that's kind of also kind of new but with that being said ladies and gentlemen this episode what we're going to be focused on is trying to boost tourism or making money off tourism in tropical six so that's what we're going to be trying to do let's start off with building the new building which is the economy hotel it looks like a really really nice hotel looks like a really nice i want this area to be touristy so i'm gonna do that and we're gonna put a put a, a tourist port over here so that's nice and that's nice so these are getting built right now or should be getting built pretty soon and we can add like a few entertainment stuff over here for tur for tourism and even our own people like snorkel bay is there a snorkel bay around here it, it, go it goes on top of fish uh fishing deposit but i'm not seeing any over here unfortunately over here i feel like it's too far Okay, so let's let's find something else. Our cheese trade is done. Hell yeah. Our economy is doing wonderful, man. It is doing wonderful. We're a little bit below, but we were uh, we were we were gonna get worse. So canned good. Do we have any canned? We don't have any canned deals, so that's next. As you can see, we unlocked all of them. We unlocked everything there is. The only thing we're importing is blank planks, but for our furniture factory. But let's go ahead and get, uh, get some canned goods. We'll give them to the USA, we'll sign a contract. Our relationship with the allies and everybody's being good. Middle East is our ally right now because of a mission we did. It was really by accident. Um, so another bug that I'm no noticing, it says, I don't know about you, blah, blah, blah. My first thought, we should simply because it seems to work. So it says Modern Mansion, and I built three of them. And that really didn't trigger, so I'm trigger this to be over with. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got an economy hotel here. And let's go, because there's a lot of tourists that want to come to the island, but they really like feel like they don't have a place to stay at 
So that's kind of why I'm doing this right now. So if we build this and build this, and maybe build a golf course somewhere around here. Maybe I need to get rid of that electric substation. It's kind of... Okay, let's build one. Kind of, let's build one here. And let's take, let's get rid of this one. But let's wait till this one gets built. Uh, when I am demolished it, unfortunately, for some reason, the electricity got cut off over here and this area was kind of disconnected. Not disconnected, but enough not enough electricity. So, okay, we got the casino. We got our economy hotel going. So this episode is going to be mostly about getting money from tourism. We have money where we can start doing that and why not? Oh, shopping mall. Let's take a look. Does it for tour and visitors? Must be well off or better. Citizens in a household. Uh, I'm not seeing anything about tourism in it, but I mean, we're going to need it for our... Oh, I'm very, very excited for this building. Okay. Waste treatment plant or facility. What else can we give them? So we give them this, a tour office. Oh, luxury hotel. Okay. Let me see what that... Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks very, very, very nice. That does look luxurious. So go ahead and build that here as well. And of course, we got a skyscraper hotel. We could use that. A cruise ship, we can use that. Skyscraper is really not that expensive, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and get it. We'll put it kind of in this area. Oh boy, we are. Look at us, man. Look at us. We came through from the mud in this island. Honestly, it was a lot of hard times on this island, man. I kind of wish it was here, to be honest with you. So let's build a mansion here and switch it out. Uh, I feel like the mansions don't really fit here, to be honest. Like, the theme of this block is kind of skyscrapers type of theme. Or we could just put it here. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, skyscraper hotel. In Tropical 5, I always had tremendous success off making money off tourism. So let's try to remember this. First of all, here's our economy. Like I said, we're in like, you know, 4,000 deficit, which it shouldn't be bad at all. Like, as you can see, here's been pretty healthy. And our tourist rating is 76, which is like, you know, not bad. Um, let's take a look at something. Let's take a look at revenue. And revenue off tourist service is about 10,000. So let's just take 10,000 for the sake of this episode. And for 490, so let's take 10,500, 10, right? So let's see how much we get by the end of this episode as far as tourism another election oh man it doesn't look like i'm they're gonna like me in this one i feel like we're doing election almost every episode now dude but uh i guess we'll deliver an amazing speech we'll try to we're gonna acknowledge the job happiness we're gonna praise the let's praise the let's praise the militarist we're not gonna blame nobody and they're not gonna let us because we failed our promise last election. Okay, so let's let's do that, and hopefully, oh, we're already up. So, um, elections are very very close in this in this in this game, and I and I kind of like it honestly. I do like it like that. Uh, so we got the economy hotel over here, skyscraper hotels come in, luxury hotels here. Let's see what upgrades do we have in this one. Full room, half room increases the combination slot by eighteen, decreases expensive by forty, efficiency by fifty. And job quality. No, why would I want that? Oh, because it increases that kind of, Okay, no, it's okay. It's okay. So, uh, what do they need here? They need a uneducated workers. Our unemployment is a little low. Maybe, maybe too low if you ask me. Build a size L park near the Middle East Embassy. That's like one of the easiest things we can do. Okay, so we got this. We got this. Of course, we, we do got the contraception ban on the island. Hoping it will... Uh, help out with that this college is not getting as filled up as fast as i thought only three graduates since we built the last episodes uh but you know we'll, we'll make it work oh we did build look at this hydroponic plantation and it's for sugar so we can just boost our sugar stuff almost natural almost free of nature <laughs> um, that's, that's almost uh, there's there's like that certain hu uh, humor in, in tropical six that makes me laugh let's see here Increases efficiency on nearby plantations. No green waste. Decreases the upkeep of nearby ranches by $3. That's it? Really? I mean, not really worth it. Okay, let's wait for this. And this is built. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a casino. I thought that was a luxury. A luxury hotel. All right, well, we're going to have to wait for these to get built and see what happens there. Now, let's take a look at our hotel. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Got the Tropican flag. 
the Tropican logo. That is super nice, dude. That is super. It's like a, it's like luxury, luxury right here. Oh, our nice, our nice hotel is built as well. Let's see what they got. Support local businesses. Room slaughter decreased by two. Housing quality is increased by decreased by five. Um, medium budget is bonus. Can no. Let's just keep it the same. Extra for thirst seeking tourists. Uh, they they would like to stay here, or relaxing tourists would like to stay here. Who do we have right now? Who is it targeting? I doesn't really tell you what kind of tourists it targets so far, but uh, we got we kind of have to take a look at it over here and, and to get an idea what kind of tourists we're getting. Let's take a look. Tourist rating, tourist cap capacity. Um, let's see, tourist rating. Skyscraper hotel. La la la. Okay, I don't care about that. I'm trying to figure out. What kind of tourists we have on the island? Relaxation. So we got child backpackers. So we got like really a mixture of everything. Cultural thrill, thrill seeking. Thrill seeking seems to be the most. So maybe we can make this a thrill seeking ho hotel. They seem to be the most here. So action floor. There it is. So you know that's that's one way we can do it. And this one obviously. Uh, let's see. Decreases the slots by two. Buildings preferred by cultural tourists. Efficiency of each museum of modern art is increased by one. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Grant increases efficiency by okay. We'll take that upgrade. So I, I I know I look at the almanac a little too much, guys. But that's because why are you guys like seriously, man? Come on, man, get out of here. Like, there's barely any shacks on the island, but you decide to build them where I know it's close to your job and all that. But come on, yeah, I'll build some houses here for you guys. That's what this area is for, anyways. But yeah, I, I usually look at the upgrades and work modes. I'm not gonna do that obviously every season that we play this, but because this is our first season together, it's the first time I look at the game, so I don't really play this game. Like I don't have another island that I'm playing on, so I, it's my first time playing it. And I want to enjoy my time in it. So if sometimes it seems too repetitive for you as far as me like reading the work modes, all this stuff, I do apologize. But you know you gotta do what you gotta do, and you gotta make sure that you know what you're doing on the island. This way I can give you guys the best experience possible so I can be as educated as possible about it. So we're building a few houses over here. Uh, hopefully these shacks get the hell away from us. We don't want them here. Next ship is coming in six months. Hopefully all of these get... F Ooh, this is already filled up, boy! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, we can go ahead and... Um, we can go ahead and get a, like a little station over here. Metro station. I got Metro on the track. No. Okay, metro station. Let's put it over here. Let's just get it fast built. Whatever. I don't have the patience to wait for it. Because uh, there's an upgrade where it says decrease the negative impact. Yep. There you go. So, because they do produce crime. So, that's why we put it there. And I guess they don't really like it that we have a metro station. I wouldn't like a mansion next to a metro station myself. So, let's go ahead and get this, this, this bunkhouse out. Um, we do want to build jail this episode as well. So, that's another thing that we need to kind of think about we can build it right here i was gonna build the jail with or with our prison with or without that that request but that request came and i would have been nice to say two birds one stone forgot we even have elections right now to be honest with you our election of 40 out of 33 and tropical 5 was so annoying when they jail somebody because they literally have to run to them and run back so i hope it's not the case here so we delete or demolish that and uh once these houses build up we should uh, we shouldn't see too many people there Oh, got filled up right away. Almost filled up. Got half filled up. Almost filled up. Not filled up. Not filled up. Okay, election's coming. We're, we're good. We're good, man. Don't don't trip. He wants us to cheat the election. I'm not going to cheat the election. That's because we're, we'll, we'll do just fine. Casino's open. Okay, let's figure out. Expel the U.S. company from your offshore account. What? Expel the USA company from your offshore account? Is this the USA demanding this? America's board will be in a superpower, so we're gonna be a mega power, okay? What? I thought you were an American guy and you want me to expel you guys? Okay. No problem, I guess. It's, that's really interesting. Uh, they want they want me to expel them. The Americans want me to expel the Americans from that offshore account. That makes no sense at all, dude. That makes no sense at all. Okay, over here we're gonna build a gourmet restaurant. So let's build a gourmet restaurant right here. Since we're gonna have a lot of tourists in this area. And uh, we're still waiting on the next shipment, I guess, of tourists to come here. Of course, we got two months. Hopefully this will all be filled up. We're making, remember, 10,500. I don't expect us to make that much just yet because we just built those hotels, but I'm interested to see how much we're making by the end of the episode. I definitely am. 
First, let's not forget to add this upgrade and luxury life turners. The Ramblin' Tourist Port are rich. Upkeep is increased by 50. The passenger capacity is reduced by 60. Now we just invite... Oh, here we go. We got a tourist ship coming. Let's see how much come through here. I'm very, very excited for that. We got a... Oh, yeah. We got a few in here coming in. It usually tells you up here, but it takes it takes some time. I don't have the patience right now, so that's why I'm looking this way. So this is not filled up yet. Or it is. A little worrying. A little bit worrying. And are they taking the metro somewhere else? Or where are they going? Okay, let's see. Oh, they're going to the motel, huh? Maybe we don't really have that many rich tourists just yet. I thought, you know... The saying build it and they'll come. I thought maybe that's what would happen. Oh, let's go ahead and increase the let's go ahead and increase the beauty of these buildings too. There we go. We gotta increase this as well. So I guess maybe I mean it doesn't hurt to build an economy hotel here anyways. You know, it, it's not gonna hurt us. It doesn't have to be like a super super rich area. We can build it on this area. The, the the rich hotels are facing the ocean, economy hotels is facing the lake. You know, you get what you pay for, right? So it doesn't hurt if we built one here. It's not going to hurt us at all. So we'll build one here. Why not? Why not? I don't I don't think tourists take the bus. Otherwise, I would have, like, put a bus station as well. So let's go ahead and get some, some beautification going over here. Put one here. Put one here. Like this. I love parks. I hate, like, empty spaces in this game because... The red just drives me nuts. The red you see there. It also is going to help to make our area a little bit more beautiful for tourism. Our uh, election is almost done. We don't need to wreck the election. We're, we're doing pretty fine. We're doing pretty well on it. So we got, a, we got a motel here that's filled up almost. Just one. This is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, this is good. You know, what we got planks is done. We're obviously going to always need planks. Let me just get this real quick and we'll go take a look at some other things. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to take it. Um, also, let's let's take a look at something. Uh, life Income lifetime is... We're going negative on this now? Are we really? That ain't right. What about this? No? We're good here. This one has been negative. Ooh, I didn't know that. I did not know. And this one has been negative. But that's not good at all. I mean, we're not we're losing like $12, $20 a month on it, but still the fact that it's negative is not it's not comforting. They don't even know how to tourist port here. Maybe we should uh, put a metro station here. Put it right here for them. So there's that. Uh, let's take a look. One more thing that our souvenir show or our tourist guide shop open. Not yet. They're taking a sweet time. The motel opened, though. I'd uh, be interested to see when we're still going to start getting different types of tourism. Our economy is so beautiful right now, man. I love it. I love it. Of course, we're going to eventually have to come here. We're running out of space here. I mean, this area is going to be just uh, basic for random things. Ooh, that's nice to know that they jail people on their own. Lock them up. Re-education program. Uneducated inmates have a chance of 50% to get a high school when they get do their time. Or convict labor decreases efficiency by 30 and generates $25 for each inmate per month not really worth it we'll do the education program uh, integration hit and roll well, all family members inmates are uncovered we'll take that as well very very nice that they actually like go and look for it i just hope they're not like actually physically carrying them back over here so bunkhouse bunkhouse let's build uh, another, another couple of bunkhouses over here just because uh you know this area does have a fair fair amount of stuff going on in it people might want to live in it let's just fast build it so they can live in it as fast as possible Ooh, look at that. Already filled up. Let's go ahead and give it the max quality. Ooh, and the building is on fire. Send the helicopter. We're way too far for a fire truck. All right. Is this tourist ship coming? Okay, let's 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 take a look again. We voted. Cool. They won the election. And we're going to leave the Constitution as it is. I uh, want to see how many tourists come now. Again, this episode is all about the tourism. Again, our both of these hotels are not. And they're, they're not cheap, man. They're not cheap a month. Like, I mean... $400 a month on this, and this is $200 a month. They are not cheap. At least this is not the worst right here, but the rest are. Oh, man. Dang it, man. Where are they going? Dude, are they going to the metro state? Yeah, they are. 
Well, at least this motel got filled up. Okay, I mean, you 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 live and you learn, right? This one, I think I'm gonna have to get it out of here for now. I will get it, and I'm gonna build another economy hotel because let's face it, we're not really doing it. We just lost the money on the construction, but I'm not gonna keep pouring money in it monthly. I'm pouring four hundred dollars on it monthly. And with our economy being good right now, that's the only reason why it's good because I micromanaged the hell out of the economy. And that's kind of how we got good. Go ahead and raise this. As you can see, guys, budgets are being raised like on almost all buildings. So um, just because of just because we want it to be good for for everything. Let's go ahead and get another economy hotel here. I was hoping that luxury hotel would get some people, but that's fine. Like we said, we live and we learn. And right now we learn that people are not interested in a very fancy hotel in tropical just yet we can put them like this there we go they'll be too close together but that's fine this is like all about the tourists maybe we can build our airport here actually it would be kind of nice because this is kind of like the main island where everything is hosted it'd be nice and we build a bridge from here to here we can do that in the future too well, not the future let's take a look at now this is all about tourism you know what it doesn't take that much i'm gonna give it to you guys we're about to build our first airport. Oh boy, I'm so excited about this. I love airports and games, man. Oh yeah, this is nice. So this is nice, dude. So this area basically is gonna be useless for us. Actually, hold on, cancel, cancel, cancel. One second. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. This way we can utilize this area a little bit more. And we don't need to have a street connected to it, but just for like scenery and realism, I'm gonna put a street like this. And you know, connect it like this and have it connected to this road. That's gonna be a nice, nice airport right here, dude. That's gonna be a nice airport right here. Oh man, it's gonna be, oh, rum is done. All right, cool, let's get another rum one. Those industries, you just gotta keep pumping it out. No rum right now, so we might have to, oh, furniture, are we doing furniture with anybody? No? Yeah, we'll do furniture then, bro. We do 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 We'll do it furniture then, man. Let's go sign a contract. All right, cool. Anyways, the airport is about to get built. I'm going to have to show you guys this the next episode, I think, because it looks like it's going to take a sweet time getting built. This is getting built. Uh, we got a motel, little tour office. I don't know why it doesn't show that. Increases fees by 100, la, la, la it's these things are so hard to like do even when you have like the highest like efficiency 135 the highest budget service quality is 81 like you can't really go any higher than that how's this apartment by the way that we built absolutely nothing go ahead and raise up and hopefully it does something for us because we're just shelling out money on it okay fast food is finally getting some visitors and one more thing i wanted to check over here that was this metro station so it's getting used by everybody almost that's nice cool so a lot of things got done this episode whether you you know maybe we didn't build as much as we'd like but we learned a big big lesson today i mean we built this 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 whole block almost this you got the gourmet restaurant for the tourists so i mean a lot of good things a motel over here and of course we got an airport going and a prison over here that looks like it's filling up pretty good, man. Looks like it's filling up pretty good. I like that that it's doing this on its own. Let's go ahead and give them some more wages because they're being they're being good workers. You know what I'm saying? They're they're doing their thing over here. I'm very very happy to see that. But uh, li like I said, man, a lot of things got done this episode. It's been a longer episode than usual, but I did want to start our tourism campaign over here. Unfortunately, it didn't go as well as I thought. I mean, I thought you know build it and they'll come, but we built it and they didn't come. But it's still too early in the game. Oh, we said we're going to check the revenue. Let's see if our revenue even changed at all when it came it comes to tourism. Uh, revenue. So we started at 10500 So right now we're making 3658 over here. And we're making, oh boy, 2070 So yeah, we bumped our tourism, our, or our revenue from tourism by 55%. Because we used to make 10000 Now we make about... 16,000 a month from it so 10,500 is 16 I say about 55 percent I'm not a math you know I'm not the best at math but I think that's that's a fair enough math right here I don't know these rooms have been filled pretty good and this is still not done yet we might have to take that away but this has been another episode of tropical six 
I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was really, really awesome to do all this stuff. We're gonna follow with tourism next, but this was kind of like the start of tourism. Damn, canned goods is already done. Uh, but this was kind of like the start of the, our tourism campaign. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jurtastic. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like up button. You know what to do with YouTube. And if you liked it, usually you'd want to subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. So I have trust in you guys that you know where to hit the subscribe button at. Thank you for watching. My name is Jurtastic, and I am.